Now the first thing you need is a 5 volt tr pressure transducer. Now it must be 0 to 5 volts, don't go for one on eBay with it measures current, you don't want that, it's 0 to 5 volts. Then you want a 12 volt to 5 volt uh, regulator, so you can power up the transducer from the vehicle battery. And then I also purchased a long reach compression adapter. Uh, if you've got any old ones lying about or spare bits at a compression tester, that would do the job as well. So this is me connected up, as you can see the compression adapter with the transducer on top. Now I secured it with a bit of PTF tape, make it a bit securer. This is the wire into the transducer. Red is 5 volts, black is earth, and the yellow is the output, which is going to my yellow lead on my Snap-on Snap -on Vantage Pro. So that's output, that's 0 to 5 volts. Then we follow the wire, the red and black, the red is 12 volts from the battery, the black is to the earth in the battery. Uh, I'm actually showing you back here at the transducer, that yellow goes to the, I just had a little blue wire there. So it really should be yellow, but it goes to my yellow lead. I use these wee Wago connectors, you get them off of AB, eBay or Screwfix or whatever. Uh, blue lead goes to 12 volts positive, and now that's be powered on my meter. So... With this thing, with no pressure, it shows half a volt, so that's atmospheric pressure. And what you then do is, anything under half a volt is a vacuum, anything above it is pressure. So that is uh, me running, I'm on a 200 millisecond time scale, and it's 0 to 5 volts I'm showing. So you can see that peaking about 2 volts, so that's about 6 bar, but you've got to remember this is running compression, which is always lower than static compression when you just crank over the engine three or four times. So I'll just show you the next bit where I show you many of them. So what you're looking for in this waveform is repetition. You look for the peak stall to be same and the troughs and everything else. So obviously it's just one cylinder and if you were any problems there, you'd you'd probably be a valve uh, issue that you would have. But to read the scope pattern, the bit at the top, the, uh, the peak, that's your uh, your, the top of your pressure sorry the camera got a bit wobbly here so that portion is the exhaust stroke that I'm pointing to then it's a compression stroke and then that's a wee vacuum pocket then it's the exhaust stroke then back to peak pressure that's where it uh, compression stroke then it's the exhaust stroke as you can see it just keeps repeating so anything under half a volt is a uh, vacuum and anything above it is pressure but it takes a bit of getting used to and you've got to compare one cylinder to another. That's what you look for differences. So thanks for watching. Hope that helps.